Noonday Prayer for Holy Saturday O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. <clears throat> Psalm 119 Your word is a lantern to my feet, and a light upon my path. I am sworn and am determined to keep your righteous judgments. I am deeply troubled. Preserve my life, O Lord, according to your word. Accept, O Lord, the willing tribute of my lips, and teach me your judgments. My life is always in my hand, yet I do not forget your law. The wicked have set a trap for me, but I have not strayed from your commandments. Your decrees are my inheritance forever. Truly, they are the joy of my heart. I have applied my heart to fulfill your statutes forever and to the end. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and will be forever. Amen. The Gospel according to Matthew When it was evening, there came a rich man from Arimathea named Joseph, who was also a disciple of Jesus. He went to Pilate and asked for the body of Jesus. Then Pilate ordered it to be given to him. So Joseph took the body and wrapped it in a clean linen cloth and laid it in his own new tomb which he had hewn in the rock. He then rolled a great stone to the door of the tomb and went away. Mary Magdalene and the other Mary were there, sitting opposite the tomb. The next day, that is, after the day of preparation, the chief priests and the Pharisees gathered before Pilate and said, Sir, we remember what this impostor said while he was still alive. After three days I will rise again. Therefore command the tomb to be made secure until the third day, otherwise his disciples may go and steal him away and tell the people. He has been raised from the dead. And the last deception would be worse than the first. Pilate said to them, You have a guard of soldiers. Go and make it as secure as you can. So they went with the guard and made the tomb secure by sealing the stone. Holy Saturday is often a day thought of as a time of silence. Silent expectation. So we'll just take a moment of silence before we continue. Page 106 in the prayer book. Lord have mercy. Christ have mercy. Lord have mercy. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Lord, hear our prayer, and let our cry come to you. Let us pray. The Collect for Holy Saturday. O God, creator of heaven and earth, grant that as the crucified body of your dear Son was laid in a tomb, 
and rested on this holy Sabbath so we may await him the coming of the third day and rise with him to newness of life who now lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit one God forever and ever amen blessed Savior at this hour you hung upon the cross stretching out your loving arms grant that all the peoples of the earth may look to you and be saved for your tender mercy's sake amen and here we take a moment to offer prayers especially for those who are sick from the coronavirus we pray for those who have died and their families we pray for all who are stay-at-home families for those who are unemployed we give thanks for this holy week an opportunity to worship with you let us bless the Lord Thanks be to God.